thank you, God, for giving us your mercy. Lord Jesus, we ask you to hasten the footsteps of those that are coming. Lord Jesus, those that cannot be here, God, we ask you to cover them, to keep them, to guide them. Lord Jesus, succor them in your mercy, Lord Jesus. We pray, God, for the backsliders, contemplating coming into the house today. Oh, God, that they would make that step and come in. Oh God, we pray for the sinner, Lord Jesus, oh God, who's contemplating what they should do today. He asks you, God, that they will make that choice and come in. Lord Jesus, for the downcast, God, we pray that you will uplift them. For the sick, we pray that you will deal with them. For those that are in desperate need, oh Lord Jesus, we pray God the teacher and your crank. For those, oh God, who are going through something, we pray God because you are the great deliverer. Lord Jesus, you're able to do it, God. We pray God that you will ignite this atmosphere. Lord Jesus, ignite the moderation. Ignite, Lord Jesus, oh God, the worshippers. Ignite, Lord Oh God, the preacher, God, that it will be no more of us. And God, if we decide to sit upon us, that we cannot minister, that we cannot do anything of ourselves. God, we invite your presence. Lord Jesus, send the seraphims and the children to cry only in your presence. Shake the door in this God. Lord Jesus, we can with your presence because without you we are nothing. We came to worship you, God, and to lift you up and to give you some glory. We give you thanks for being with us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. One more time. One more time.
Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. One more time. One more time. One more time. Amen. I'm glad to be in that number. Yes. One more time. Before I go into the <coughs> and give honor to the Spirit of the Lord. Glory to God. Greetings to our pastor, Bishop Andrew Mantel. Greetings to Evangelist Coronet. Excuse me. Evangelist Audrey, Minister Forbes in her abstinence, saints in Christ, everybody looking in on social media. Today I greet you in the matchless and holy name of Jesus. It is a privilege and an honor to be in the house of the Lord one more time. I'm glad to be in the number one more time. Please forgive me for my voice. I'm just sort of trying to get over it. A little light affliction Amen. during the week, but I'm here because God kept me. Yes. I'm alive today Amen. only because of His grace. Hallelujah, yes. hallelujah. And I'm here today to worship the King of Kings. Despite how I'm feeling, I'm here to give Him all the glory, all the, glory. All the honor, yes. and all the praise because truly He is worthy. God is a good God. Good, it just seems underestimated to even refer to God because he's beyond good, you know, beyond anything that we could possibly think of. You know, God is, God is, and that's yes. what God is, right. and there's nothing else to come up to that. God is, yes. you know, he's woke me up this morning, and I make no apology in saying 50 years of age. I stand here today and I can honestly say I didn't know that I would be here when I was 50 but I thank God for his loving kindness towards me he's done so much for me more than I deserve you know he's kept me through so many things you know and I'm thankful that I heard the call I'm thankful that I gave my life you know it's going over the years since I've been in church, I've always took a lot of notes in um, Bible study, etc. When I'm um, preaching, was going on, and I was going through my notes um, early hours of this morning, and there was a message. Um, well, there was a a, a, um, a, a elder was pre um, teaching. Um, I think it was one Wednesday night, and he said something and, and my book just opened on it he said we are not saved because we follow christ we follow him because we are saved amen and when i thought about that amen. this morning when you really think about it amen. you know it, it, it's just so a word just cannot explain it really touched me at five o'clock this morning amen. and i just had to cry and say thank you jesus amen. you know thank you that i I'm not just thinking in my mind that I'm saved just because I come to church or just because I say thank you Jesus or just because I say my prayers, you know, or anything like that. Uh, it's because... Yes, you come because you are saved. Oh, because it's, yes. His goodness, Amen. His grace, yes. His mercy that doesn't see me as I am, Amen. but as how He wants me to be, yes. and how I shall be, yes. and how I will be. Yes. And I'm just so grateful. I'm just so grateful. Yes. Words fail me right now, but I'm just here to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah for keeping me. Thank you, Lord. For being my rock. Thank you, Lord, for being that voice that says, carry on, keep going. Because there are times when I didn't think that I could. But you always kept me going. And when I reflect back, you know, know that the times when I've had difficult times or when I've struggled, and just know how God has always brought me out. Always, because there's no failure in Him. And because of that faith, we're going to lift him up. 
Mm. We're going to magnify him. We're going to glorify him. It doesn't matter what you're dealing with, what you're going through right now. It is no longer. Give your head a wobble and we're going to praise his holy name today. In Jesus' name. We're going to sing from our Pentecost hymn, hymn 195. So open that service, that's 195 from the Pentecostal hymn. And we're going to sing the first, the second, and the last verse. As I journey through the land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary.
was lost. How think how think he if a man have a hundred sheep and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety-nine and nine and go into the mountains and seeketh that which is gone astray? Thirteen will read together. And if so be that he findeth it, verily I say unto you. He rejoiceth more of that sheep than of the ninety-nine which went not astray. Amen. 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 Thank God thank for you, Lord. His holy word. Yes. In Jesus' name, thank you, God. You can tell the world about this. Yeah. You can tell the nations about that. Tell them Jesus has come. Ooh, tell them that the comforter.
Into my chamber, if you 
we know that all power is in your hands. Hallelujah, we know that you walk in righteousness. Hallelujah, we know that you're clothed, hallelujah, in majesty. Father God, right now, Lord Jesus, as we come before you right now, hallelujah, we're lifting up a standard to you, Lord God. Hallelujah, we come with open arms, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, asking you to use us as you please. Hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, we pray that your presence be in this place. Hallelujah, we pray that your anointing be in this place. Lord Jesus, we pray that you crown us, Lord Jesus, from our head to our feet, Lord God, in your anointing. Hallelujah, Jesus. We pray that this service, Lord God, that somebody leaves changed. Hallelujah, somebody leaves delivered. Hallelujah, somebody leaves set free. Lord God, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for waking us up this morning. Hallelujah, we thank you for setting us on our way. Lord Jesus, I pray right now. Lord Jesus, I put the sick before you, Lord God. Lord Jesus, you know the very ailments. Hallelujah, Jesus. We put the sick before you, God, because we know that you are a healer. Hallelujah, we know that you are the mighty God. Hallelujah, we put every individual who is in this place. Lord God, you know us by name. You know us by nature, Lord God, and you know our need. We, Lord Jesus, as I pray right now, I pray that you attend to our need. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, the one who's about to bring the word today. I pray, Lord Jesus, that it sits upon us, Lord God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that the word, Lord Jesus, convicts us in this place. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus, that we may be changed in a moment, Lord God. We thank you for your word, Lord God. We thank you for, for speaking to us, Lord God, as we go throughout the remainder of this service. I pray that you anoint the moderator, Lord Jesus. Lord God, we thank you for keeping her for yet another year, Lord Jesus. And as she steps into this new year in her life, Lord God, we pray that you fill her with more anointing. Lord Jesus, we pray that you fill her, Lord Jesus, with more things that you have ordained for her, Lord God. Lord Jesus, your people, Lord God, in this place. Lord Jesus, we pray that you fill us with the spirit of obedience. Lord Jesus, that as the wiles of the enemy, Lord Jesus, seek to attack us. Lord God, as the enemy tries to sift us as wheat, Lord God, we pray that you surround us like a fence. Yeah. Hallelujah. Surround us, Hallelujah. Jesus. That every dart in here, Lord God, that tries to attack us, Lord Jesus, we send it back. Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we, Lord God, we pray that your blood, yeah. hallelujah, that it washes us white as snow. Lord God, that your blood, hallelujah, that it cleans us from the inside. Hallelujah, washes us from the outside. In your mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, for the fervence of this service as we say thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. at all. 
I just want to say that I love the Lord. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. I love the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because had it not been for him on my side, I don't know where I would be right now. But I thank him. Hallelujah. I thank him that he saw something in me worth saving. Hallelujah. He looked beyond my faults. Glory to God. I am so undeserving. Hallelujah. Of his love. Hallelujah. But because he's God and he's God all by himself, he doesn't look at what others may look at and think that I'm not deserving. He looks deep. Hallelujah. Beyond the exterior. He looks deep into my heart and he knows who I am. I'm so thankful to be a part of God's family. Glory be to God. This is where I belong. Hallelujah. This is where I want to stay. There is nothing. You know, the Bible says, what can separate us from the Lord? And we know that only we can walk away you know, we, we walk away and we separate ourselves. I need to stay in the heart of heart of his hand. I need to stay at the feet, hallelujah, of Jesus. Because he is the be all, he's, he's, he's my all beings. And he is the great I am. Yes, he is. The great I am. The Alpha, the Omega, and all that is in between. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to collect this afternoon's um, offering, and I'm going to ask the Donna Casper if she will um, come a blessing. And uh, we're going to have a song from. Amen. We're going to have a song from our praise team. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Jesus Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise. Yes. We honor and we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord God, for this another Sunday morning that we can come into your house, the first Sunday of May. We give you thanks, Lord Jesus. And because we give you thanks and we're so grateful, we're going to give back a portion of what you've blessed us with. I'm asking you, Lord God, to bless it, to multiply it, Lord God, so they can go to the furtherance of your work in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings and honor, glory and power, be unto the ancient of day. Oh, 
God thanks today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I feel as though I'm just exhausting my voice. So I'm going to take myself out of the way. Hallelujah. And I'm going to hand over to our bishop. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, Jesus. Thank you, God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise Amen. The Lord. Our God is a good God. All the time. Amen. And he's worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank the moderator for fighting through this morning. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. She has strained her voice, but all to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. We're thankful to see everybody in the house today. Amen. You know, we, we have much to give God thanks for. Let me just tell somebody that the Holy Ghost is alive and well. Amen. 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 Thank you, Amen. Jesus. In case anyone was in any doubt, Jesus is alive and well. Amen. And he's still able to do more than we can think or ask. Amen. He's a great God. Amen. Hallelujah. And greatly to be praised. Thank you for your prayers. Amen. Amen. If I and I uh, went away, we're back safely. We didn't leave the country, but... Amen. We, we were in the country. Amen. And we give God thanks for his keeping care and his tender mercies. Amen. Amen. It's good to have a testimony. You know. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I was blessed to be in the National Brotherhood meeting yesterday. Mm -hmm. Amen. We were up in Stoke-on-Trent, my God. And for the assembled throng that were there, we see that the Holy Ghost power is still moving. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. The, the speaker was standing in the podium and then he wasn't. Amen. Thank God the doctors and the nurses that were there were able to run. But the great physician. Amen. Hallelujah. When I was there, we saw him and he was like dead weight. He just fell to the ground. But God. And the doctors were there, the nurses were there, my God. But when you start seeing the doctor start putting her hand over the person's face, it's time to pray. Amen. And thank God that the power of prayer, uh, Holy Ghost power, Amen. Amen, brought revival back there. There was no... Um, what they call those shock things, the defibrillators, none of that was there. Amen. Thank you, God. But he was back to be able to stand up and say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. It's good when you can witness things for yourself. The power of Almighty God. We could have heard different news yesterday, but the songwriter called the vision. He said, somebody prayed for me. And they had me on their mind. Amen. Amen. And so I'm still reporting victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, God. Still giving him thanks for, amen, journey mercies and for all that he has done and continues to do. Thank you, Jesus. We're praying, amen, for Elder Rob today. Continue to pray for him. Amen. He's going through some, some severe back pains, but God. Amen. Glad to see Deacon Stephen, Sister Alden, in the house today. Amen. Hallelujah. Heard of what happened, but God. Thank you, Jesus. And we give God thanks for every one of you. We give God thanks, Sister Veronica, in the house today. Amen. Let me just say, she's, she's taking up fellowship here, and we give God thanks. Amen. She's our sister. Amen. So we just welcome her as how we do family all the time. Amen. Amen. And may God bless you. Amen. And keep you in his care. Amen. Thank God for being God. Yes. Amen. I sat and listened to what the moderator was saying. She found something in one of her old notebooks. And it's good, you know, when we can write down things. Amen. Glory be to God. We don't go. We don't. Amen. We are not, amen, hallelujah. We're not saved because we follow Jesus. 
but we follow Jesus because we are saved. Amen. And sometimes we hear words like that and you think, well, what's the difference? Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not saved because I'm a disciple. My God. But as a Christian, I follow Jesus. And a disciple is a follower. But a Christian is Christ-like. Amen. And that's our aim today. It is because I am saved that I know to follow Jesus. Amen. And I'm pleased that it links to where the Holy Ghost was leading me. Amen. You know, when it's time to say something on the Word of God, I, I have a habit. That's so although I'm reading, amen, as we all do, we read our Bibles in the week. Amen. For those that don't read, I know you have it on your audio books so that you can listen to the Word of God. But Amen. It so happens that when I have to speak, I can't say but six o'clock on the Sunday morning, the Lord wakes me up. And I have to go downstairs because everybody else in the house is sleeping. Amen. Glory be to God. And just allow the Lord to speak to me. Amen. You know, we, we have a habit that we want to speak to God. But sometimes we just have to listen. Amen. And I was listening this morning, and Amen. I was in this in this um, in this in this scripture, maybe two or three weeks back, and he said you need to go back today, and I'm thankful to him for that. And so we're reading from Saint Matthew 18 verses 11 to 13. Hallelujah. For the Son of Man oh. is come to say that which was lost. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, <laughs> I sometimes need to be rescued. We have a, an advert that comes on our television for, I think it's either the AA or the RAC, and they say they are the fourth emergency service. If you break down, they are the ones that you must seek and you are called. But who do you call when you're lost? When you can't find the way. And it had me thinking this morning, when do I know that I am lost? Amen. You know, some of us say, amen, maybe I, I'm not speaking for all male drivers, but maybe it's just me. Amen. I had a habit before sat now. That I never got lost, you know. I just found new ways of getting there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the one thing that my car couldn't do is stop so that I could wind down a window and ask somebody for directions of where we're going. But thanks be to God. Amen. The only time we know that we are truly lost is when I know where I'm supposed to be and I'm not there. Because if I don't know where I'm going, amen, I remember, I don't remember a lot from my days in university, but day one, the principal lecturer spoke to us and he said, it is important in this course that you make a plan because he said, failing to plan is planning to fail. And then he left some words with me that have stuck with me and that was from 1983. He said, if you don't know where you are going, any road will take you there. Oh, hallelujah. And that's why we must be able to sing the refrain of that song. I know where I'm going. I hallelujah. I cannot be guessing where I'm going. Amen. So that way, when I'm looking a long life journey, if I'm not where I'm supposed to be, then I need to ask for help ask for direction to put me back on track. The Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. And, you know, it's in Luke 15 that we start to read about three different kinds of being lost. Amen. We have the unintentionally lost. Oh, glory be to God. 
I wonder how many of us in here see ourselves as a coin. Amen. Glory be to God. You know, I guarantee if I go to your sofa in your house and I put my hand down the back, there will be coins down there. Amen. Glory be to God. Because the coin was in the pocket. Amen. The coin didn't have any intention of being lost. But because of how we sat down, then it rolled out of our pocket, went out of sight. And it's only when we're doing the spring clean or the deep clean or the Saturday hoovering that when we move the seat cushion, we think, oh, when did that get there? Oh, hallelujah. Unintentionally lost. Oh, hallelujah. And then you compare that with the son that said, give me what is mine. And I'm going off into a far country because I want to be intentionally lost. Oh, hallelujah. I don't want anybody around me here to know who I am or to see me anymore. So I'm going far where nobody knows me. I intentionally want to be lost. Thank you, Jesus. Where do we find ourselves today? Are we the coin that fell out of the pocket? Or are we the one that says, I'm going to go and find my own way? Oh, hallelujah. And that's the problem when you want to find your own way. You end up stumbling. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because others have been this way before. And, you know, sometimes we struggle to find a way. There was one, amen, hallelujah, amen. Is it Thomas who said, no, Philip said, hey, hey, Thomas who said, Lord, show us the way. And he said, wait a minute. How long have you been with me? Why would you tell me that what I'm doing is wrong? Well, the only time you leave me to fall flat on my face is when you don't love me. Oh, hallelujah. If you see me walking over a precipice blindfolded, would you not shout out? Or would you not say, hey, I wait a minute, he's going to fall, you know. And then when I fall, you say, huh, the Holy Ghost did show me. <laughs> Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. We need to be so in tune. Oh, hallelujah. That when I'm in an emergency, instead of calling 999, I just dial J-E-S-U-S. Oh, hallelujah. He is my main emergency service. When I need healing, he's a doctor. When I need counseling, he's a counselor. Oh, glory be to God. When I need help, he's a strength. Oh, hallelujah. And a strong tower. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. When I'm in need, he's closer than a brother. Yes. That's who Jesus is to me. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. So, he came to save the lost. Amen. But then he goes on into verse 12. How think you? If a man has a hundred sheep, one of them be gone astray. Does he not leave the ninety and nine and go into the mountains and seeketh the one that is no longer there? Now that's a question. And it depends, if you read St. John 10, it depends on whether the person with the sheep, the shepherd, owns the sheep or is a hireling. Because according to St. John 10, when trouble come, the hireling flees. Oh, hallelujah. So I started out with 100. Now there's only 99. Aren't you glad that Jesus knows every one of us? By our name and by our nature. Oh, glory be to God. Although he made us, amen, in his likeness and in his image, and what does that mean? Well, it means that when I look at your face, I see two eyes, two ears, one nose with two nostrils and a mouth. And it don't matter what features we have, every one of us is in the same image. We all have two arms and two legs and walk upright. Isn't God wonderful? 
So that's the image he had for us. Man was never meant to crawl on his belly. Man was meant to stand up and be able to walk and commune with our heavenly father. Oh, glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But he knows every one of us. He knows the very here on our head. Oh, hallelujah. He knows the number of our days. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. I think it might be in Psalm 38 where the psalmist says, Lord, teach me. I need to number my days. I need to check just how frail I am. Oh, glory be to God. I think I'm, I'm big and, and, and heavy and mighty, but I cannot add one day to my life. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know how many breaths God has assigned to me from the date of my birth and how many of them I have left. But whilst he gives me breath, I'm here to praise him and to say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You saved a wretch like me. Oh, hallelujah. My God. You know, I'm reminded sometimes I'm intentionally lost. Because, amen, there is nobody, Deacon, there's nobody as blind as the person that don't want to see. There's nobody as deaf as the person that doesn't want to hear. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But look where God has brought us. Look where he went so that we can have access and free access to the throne of grace. Oh, hallelujah. He knew that I was lost and so he came looking. But here in verse 12, it says the shepherd goes looking for the one. Leaves the 90 and 9. Now it don't tell us that they were safely laid, you know. We're not told that they were in, amen, the sheepfold. But you know the one thing that I find with sheep, amen. Whenever you look at sheep, you can tell one different from another. And that's why there is no plural for the word sheep, you know. If you have one is sheep, and if you have a hundred is sheep. Oh, glory be to God. It's not sheep, it's just sheep. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Look at that. But yet, God, he started out with a hundred. When you look around and all you see sheep coming around you and all of them going ba ba ba, every one of them sound the same and they look the same. Yet he knew one was missing. Isn't that wonderful? My God, hallelujah. He could look at the flock and realize that I was missing. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And he left the 90 and 9. Now, when I look at sheep, oh, glory be to God. Sheep don't have nothing to defend themselves, you know. When wolves come, and the Bible talks about grievous wolves, oh, hallelujah, hungry and angry wolves, oh, hallelujah. But the defense of the sheep is the other sheep. There is defense in being in the number. That's why we say, I want to be in the number when the saints go marching in because she can defend themselves against attackers when they are all together oh hallelujah the only one that has any defense is the ram because the ram of horn and he will say amen and i want to i want to and to buck you and everything like that but the sheep don't have it the goats don't have it either. Amen. Hallelujah. But sheep follow sheep. Have you ever seen that? Amen. We, I can't remember where it was. Tunisia, one of the countries that we were in. And in this country, every shepherd have a dog. And the dog runs around the sheep and directs them. But when we were in the Middle East and North Africa, the shepherd walks in front. And the sheep follow. Oh, hallelujah. Remember, the shepherd is leading the way. No matter what men may say, the shepherd still leads on. But I am still amazed that you started out with a hundred sheep. And sheep don't stay still for you to count them. So they're moving around wherever they see a little grass and you, you better after them, they come. 
but he still knew that I was missing. Oh, hallelujah. He said he left the 99 and started looking for the one. But that is the shepherd. Oh, glory be to God. Amen. Some would look while it is on flat ground. Amen. But he says the shepherd went into the mountain. Now if I'm in the mountain, although sheep is climbing, they can't climb. They don't climb like goats. Oh, hallelujah. So sheep tend to follow after one another and so that there is a path that is worn smooth. So we start to look for the one. Aren't you glad that Jesus came looking for you? Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I was the one. Now, I don't know whether the sheep felt like it was a coin and it was unintentionally lost or it decided that, you know what, today I don't feel like sheep. I feel like I'm a goat. And so I'm going to go and do my own thing. Because goat is the one that you have to herd. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But either way, this one sheep was missing. The shepherd came looking for the sheep. So how does that shepherd be distinguished from Jesus then? Well, it's in St. John 10, I think, verse 11. He said of himself, I am the good shepherd. Oh, hallelujah. And therefore, I remember when the rich ruler came to him and said, good master. And he says, why do you call me good? There's only one that is good. Amen. And that is God. And yet Jesus says of himself, I am the good shepherd. The I am God that was there that said, let me be. Oh, hallelujah. The one that was able to send a message to say, tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. I sent you. Oh, hallelujah. From the beginning to the end, it's all about Jesus. Thank you, God. I am the good shepherd. And how do I know he's better than the one in verse 12? Well, I look in verse 13. And it starts with a condition. The condition of tense. And if so be that he finds the sheep. Truly I say unto you, he rejoices over that one more than the 99 that was safe. Amen. Lit together. But verse 13 is very important for us. The shepherd will seek for a time. The shepherd will look for a season. The shepherd will look, amen, until he thinks, I'm not finding that sheep. Perhaps that sheep has already been killed. Why? Because can you imagine being the one sheep by yourself? In the morning you started out and when you were looking you could see other sheep scattered about. But something happened that the call came and you missed the call. Oh glory be to God. And then when you come and you start to look around there is no sheep. Where do you do? What do you do? Oh hallelujah. You bleed a little and no sound come back. Immediately, you're going to want us to stay where you are. You know why? Because now you are defenseless. Can't protect yourself. Oh, glory be to God. But the good shepherd keeps looking. In verse 13, he said, If so be that he finds it. Well, that gives me a view that he was looking, but not expecting to find. Oh, hallelujah. Looking, yes. But my God, it might just be a cursory glance because I've got to tell the sheep owner that I went out looking for the one that was lost. But don't worry, I still got 99. Oh, hallelujah. And if I make them run around while he's counting, he's probably going to get confused and think he's still got 100. Oh, hallelujah. But look what Jesus did for us. He didn't just look for a time. There wasn't any if I find them. He sought until he found us. Oh, hallelujah. He kept searching and searching until he found us. Oh, hallelujah. It goes and it says in another place that he, he looked, that he picks him up 
picks up the sheep and carries on his shoulder. Well, that tells me that perhaps that sheep was led. Maybe something was wrong with its leg that it couldn't keep up with the others. But you know, Jesus came looking for me. And I'm so thankful today. Oh, hallelujah. That no matter the situation, no matter your circumstance, Jesus cares about you. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. He's grateful that the 99 are saved, but he's still concerned about the one. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I look at myself sometimes and I say, Lord, who am I that a king should bleed and die for? Who am I that you should say, not my will, thine will? The answer I may never know. Why you ever loved me so and why you went to an old rugged cross for me. But you know what? Even if it was just for me, he came and did it. Just for me. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, all the 90 and 9 that were safe. Oh, hallelujah. I give God thanks for you, but I'm still more thankful that he remembered me in my slow and sinful state. I was the one that was left behind in the precipice of the mountain. But he came searching for me. And he's searching for you. If you have not yet given your life to the Lord, don't believe that Jesus doesn't know you. Why? He told us in the book of Isaiah, all souls are mine. And it was his breath that was breathed into us and we became a living soul. Jesus knows every one of us by name and he knows where to find us. But do I want to be found? I am only lost when I realize I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Oh, hallelujah. So when the Son of Man comes to seek and to save that which is lost, if I don't think I'm lost, why do I need to be found? Oh, glory be to God. But today, oh, hallelujah. Today is the day, oh, glory be to God, that we have to cry out and say, Lord, here am I. Calling me by my name. It's time to answer, yes, Lord. Here am I, my God, the one sheep up there. All the other sheep left and gone. My Lord, do you understand why we have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling? Lord of mercy. I love my wife. My wife I know loves me. But when the call comes, she can only look out for herself. She's got to answer the call for herself. She can't wait to give me a dig in the ribs and say, Andrew, get up. It's time to go. The call is just for you. Oh, hallelujah. When you hear your name, when it is cried out, Lazarus, come forth. Oh, hallelujah. When the cry is Andrew, when the cry is John, when the cry is Mary, oh, when you hear your name, Oh, hallelujah. Will we be in the number? Oh, hallelujah. Jesus, thank you, Savior. You know, I look and I think even the one that I said could defend itself. That's the ram, right? The you lamb can't do it. The ram can defend. But because they all have a big woolen coat, that if you're in the wrong environment, the cult can be a hindrance. Remember when Abraham was going to offer Isaac? The ram was caught weird. He was caught in the thickets, in the brambles and the briars. Oh, hallelujah. So at that point, it don't matter how big your horn is, how curved or how tough, you can't get out. Oh, hallelujah. Sometimes we have been caught up in situation. 
It wasn't that we wanted it this way. Oh, hallelujah. Sister Lamb used to sing, it's not the way I wanted it. It's not the way I planned it. But God knows better. Oh, hallelujah. He knows better than I do. Oh, hallelujah. No wonder when, when the prophet looked, he said, his ways are higher than mine. And his thoughts are higher than mine. My Lord Jesus, John was told, come up hither. You need to come up here. Where you are is too low. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amen. He came for me. The one. Now, as I look at myself as the sheep that was out there, I am so thankful that Jesus came looking for me. In verse 12 and 13, it doesn't tell us how long the shepherd was looking for the one sheep. But because verse 13 said, if so be, he finds it. Oh, hallelujah. It didn't matter if he did because he had an excuse. It wasn't my fault that the sheep didn't come when I called. He was probably devoured by wolves or beer or fell off the mountain edge. Oh, hallelujah to its death. But either way, it wasn't my fault. I could say that my sin isn't my fault. Couldn't I? According to Psalms 51 verse 5, I could hide behind that and say, behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. But you know what? God give me sense to understand right from wrong. Amen. He has given me a free will choice. Amen. He has shown me life, and he has shown me death. Amen. What an examiner Jesus is. I have to sit an examination and I have to choose more. It's not even multiple choice. It's either A or B. And then he tell me, choose life. Oh, glory be to God. No wonder the songwriter said, Jesus is the answer. Oh, hallelujah. My God, what a savior. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So, we say many times, we find it in Luke 15, verse 10. Glory be to God. Where the Bible tells us that the angels rejoice in the presence of God over one sinner that repents. Amen. Luke 15, verse 10. Yes, amen. The angels rejoice over one. Oh, hallelujah. Aren't you? Now, isn't that amazing? For all the angels that are dear, for all the 99 that are already saved, oh, glory be to God. But there is rejoicing in heaven because I came to my sense and said, Lord, show me the way. Give me the direction. <coughs> Amen. Excuse me for heaven. They rejoice over one sinner. That's how valuable we are. That's how valuable you are to God. Oh, hallelujah. You know, Jesus looks after everyone. My God, wasn't he the one that said, wait a minute, all that you gave me, I'm giving back. I haven't lost one. Save, I accept the son of perdition. Oh, glory be to God. And even that one dream. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He doesn't want any of us to be lost. There is no need to be lost anymore, brethren. We have satellite navigation system now. Oh, hallelujah. There was a time when we used to have to buy them and, and, and stick them on the window. Now they are part of the car. There is no reason ever to be lost. Where is our satellite program for heaven or hell? Because we're not going to be lost. We're going to be having to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Oh, glory be to God. Every one of us is going to have to give an account for our soul. Oh, hallelujah. And we're going to have to stand and say, when you came looking for me, I deliberately thought it was hide and seek. And so I went hiding. 
All glory be to Jesus. But thanks be to God. He is so concerned about us as the one. Now I can just imagine, and the Bible don't tell me this, so you can refer to this as Landell 316. But can you imagine if there was joy in heaven? Was there joy in that one sheep? To know that I've lost my way. And the good shepherd has come seeking me out. Oh, hallelujah. Went through the cold. Went through the rain. Oh, hallelujah. Was prepared. Oh, hallelujah. Even to come up against ravenous wolves. Oh, how? Because it's in St. John 10 where it says, how do you know I'm the good shepherd? Because the good shepherd is prepared to lay down his life for the sheep. Didn't Jesus lay down his life for us? Didn't he pay the ultimate sacrifice? That even now, it don't matter how rich or how poor we think, we don't even have to find that turtle dove once a year. He paid it all at Calvary. His blood covers all of us. It blots out my transgression. Oh, hallelujah. What a God we serve. I can imagine the rejoicing in that one sheep. How do I know? Because I am rejoicing today yeah. in the God of my salvation. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Out there wandering, don't know which way, but the way came to me. Yeah. Now I'm going to stay in the way. Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to live in the way. I'm going to die in the way. Oh, hallelujah. But because it's the way that leads me back home. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I can imagine the other 99 sheep. Because every lost soul is somebody's son, somebody's daughter, somebody's brother, somebody's sister. Somebody's mother or father. Can you imagine somebody that was lost to you? His return. There must have been joy in the 99. Oh, glory be to God. Because you know what? 99 is still not 100. Oh, hallelujah. It is still not 100. We must be there looking out for our one another. Yes. Oh, glory be to God. But if my determination is to make it to heaven, if your determination is to make it to heaven, you know all of us going to be here. Some people get confused and say, well, there's going to be two in the field. Only one going to be taken. There's going to be two in the bed. <laughs> but if it is not his will that any of us should perish, then if all of us are ready, all of us are going home. Sure. Lord, you think I can't use excuse? Well, yeah, there was two of us in the bed and, and Sister Carter edged me out and she got there before me. No. no. I have to work it out for myself. Oh, glory be to God. And I can't blame anybody else if I don't make it. Oh, ha. the shepherd is seeking to say that which is lost. Today we can be found. Glory be to God. Have you noticed in every, every school, they might have it in the workplace as well. You don't say that there is just a lost counter, you know. It's called lost and found. Because if it is there, yes, I lost it, but somebody else found it and brought it in. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is the place for the lost and found. And today, however you are joining us, uh, you attend here or you're attending virtually, this is the place for the lost and found. Oh, hallelujah. God is doing a work here today. Hallelujah. If you can hear my voice, oh, hallelujah. There is no reason to come out of this service and say, Lord, I'm lost, when he's reaching his hand out to you. Reach out for him. He's reaching down for you. Oh, hallelujah. He knows exactly what you need today. 
oh, and the miles of space, his amazing grace, does span. Reach out for him. Reach out and touch God's hand. The rejoicing is from the one to them. I give God thanks. And isn't there rejoicing among the 99 when one turns back, when one repents, when one comes back home, my God, hallelujah. If this is not the case, why do we keep having meetings for backsliders? Why do we keep praying for those that used to be in the fold and have gone, whether unintentionally or intentionally, got themselves lost? Because Jesus is still looking. He's still searching. Oh, hallelujah. He's still reaching out, prepared to put himself in danger so that we can be saved. He's a rescuer today. He's not the fourth emergency service. He's not just 999. He is our lifeline. Oh, glory be to God. The Bible tells me that they call Moses the lawgiver, but Jesus is the life giver. Oh, hallelujah. And if life is here for someone today, my God, he saw me bleeding and died on my Jericho road. Yet he came and poured in oil and wine. There's a song from way back, and I don't try to sing it. Amen. It was sung by the London Community Gospel Choir. It says, I'm back in the fold. And now I'm back in the fold. Oh, hallelujah. Everything about my life is now stronger. I'm back in the fold. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Every danger is now past. Why? Because I am back in the fold. Wherever you are today, what your situation may be, you find yourself at times, you're following with the other sheep, and at times you start to get left behind. You want to go right when the sheep are going left. Oh, hallelujah. But there is safety, there is security, there is shelter when we are back in the fall. And the good shepherd will keep seeking us until we are back in the fall. God bless you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how Jesus loves me. I don't know why. I only cry. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves me. Oh, how he loves me. I don't know why. I only cry. Oh, how he just about being lost and being outside of the building. Sometimes you can be in the building and be lost. Sometimes, you, you know, we can be doing all the things that we're meant to be doing and we're not here. We're not in the presence of God. And the presence of God is not with us. Hallelujah. But what I love about God is that he gives us chance after chance after chance. And he doesn't look and say, I'm going to give the chances to the officers. I'm going to give it to the pastor. But he gives chances to everybody because he loves us all. So if we're at a, we're at a different place than we were before, the altar is here. The altar isn't just for, for the unsaved. The altar isn't just for someone that's feeling sick. 
we can be spiritually ill. And you know what? I realize that being spiritually ill is worse than being physically ill. Hallelujah. Because I fear the one that can take both body and soul. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to make sure that when God does the roll call, when he's ticking that register off, that if I hear my name and you hear your name because it's not his will for any of us to perish. The reason he went looking for the 99 because he told us that when he came, he said, I came to seek and to save. He didn't just come to save, he came to seek and to save that which was lost. So he's looking for the lost because he knows the found are in the fault. Hallelujah. Will you come to him? Will you come to him? The Lord of all. Will you come to him? His mercy calls. Will you come to him? Oh, oh, oh. 
and joint ears with Christ in God. So God, we glorify you, God, for the victory. We glorify you, Lord Jesus, oh God, and thank you for our new name. We thank you, God, Lord Jesus, for our inheritance, oh Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray that we will walk in our inheritance. We will walk in the authority of our calling. Lord Jesus, that when you call us home, we will be found worthy. When you repeat the report on our lives, the report will say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. We pray, Lord Jesus, oh God, that we will start to take things more seriously. That we will realize that time is at hand. Lord Jesus, and it's time to be saved. It's time, oh God, Lord Jesus, to make sure, Lord Jesus, oh God, that our salvation is not filthy rags, but our salvation is in you, God, the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord Jesus, as we're about to leave this building, God, we pray, God, that you will continue to walk with us, continue to talk with us, give us dreams and give us visions, pour out your spirit upon all you would in the last days. Lord Jesus, let us see a revival in the church. Let us see a zeal in the church. Let us see, oh God, worshippers who are true in the church, God. Let us see, oh God, your glory. Hallelujah. Your glory, God. If you have to hide us in the cleft of the rock, let us see your face, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's what we long for, God. We long to be more like you, God. We long to be less of us and more like you. So we ask you, God, to let us decrease so that you can increase in us. Oh, God, that we won't be, Lord Jesus, like that fig tree that is good for nothing. But, Lord Jesus, oh, God, we will flourish in you. Lord Jesus, and the gifts of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit, will be seen in each and every one of us. Have your way as we're about to go from this service. We thank you for the, for the moderator. We thank you for the speaker. We thank you for the praise team. We thank you for the musicians. We thank you for the congregation. We thank you for the children. We thank you for the very atmosphere, Lord Jesus of worship, that we could say, truly, it was good for us to be here. Have your way, oh God as we say thank you in Jesus name hallelujah you thought I was to die for so you sacrificed your life so I could be free so I could be whole so I could tell everyone I know you thought I was And the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. 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 Can we just say happy birthday to young Alea at the back? It was her birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Sister Donna Hibbert again and Sister Tracy again today. God bless you all. Happy birthday. God bless you. Also a reminder that fifth Sunday we will not be in this building. Sorry.